Welcome to the Mortgage Rate Weekly Market Update for the week of March 26, 2018. Hello, I'm John Thomas with Prime Residential Mortgage. Let me give you an update. Well, last week, um, mortgage rates ended the week kind of about where they started. If you take a look at the bond chart on the screen, you can see mortgage bonds are still stuck in this trading channel between a ceiling of resistance and a floor of support. They've been stuck there for several weeks. We were hoping they would break out higher, moving interest rates lower. And last week, the stock market ended the week on very bad note, dropped. Um, the Dow dropped over 400 points. And in the face of that, mortgage bonds were not able to rally and break above the 25-day moving average. So that was a very bad sign. With the stock market having a huge sell-off, you would expect bonds to rally. And since they didn't, that is not a good sign for mortgage bonds moving forward. So with that in mind, we're going to recommend locking your mortgage rate. Take advantage of whatever rate you have right now because the outlook is mortgage bonds are probably going to get worse, not better, in the face of a stock sell-off not rallying. Now, if we dig into some economic news, we had the Federal Reserve meeting last week, and they announced, as expected, they, were, they raised the Fed funds rate another 0.25%, which puts the range between 1.5% and 1.75%. Feds in the meeting, uh, when they released the notes, acknowledged that inflation still remains low, but they expect it to rise in the short term, and that's why they're raising the Fed funds rate, because they're expecting inflation to kick in. Um, the Feds would not answer whether they plan to raise the Fed funds rate three or four times in 2018. Um, so that's still a mystery. Um, but they are going to raise it at least three as far as we know. Then we saw weekly initial jobless claims come out and claims moved up 3,000 to 229,000 claims for the week. That's a great number, well below the 300,000 mark. This is also going to be the sample week used in the March jobs report, which comes out the first Friday in April. So that points to a very strong jobs report um, for March. Now in housing news, a couple reports there. First one, existing home sales for, uh, for February 2018. They moved up 3% from January to an annual rate of 5.54 million units. Sales back, bounced back after two straight months of decline in spite of low inventories and rising interest rates and home price growth. So all three of those would normally um, push existing home sales down, but in spite of that, we saw a 3% increase. So that's great news for existing home sales. They're up 1.1% from February of last year. Now the median home price from existing home moved up to 241,000, an increase of 5.9% from February of 2017. So strong growth in home prices are going to continue throughout the year. Then we saw new home sales for February 2018. They edged lower by 0.6% to 618,000 units on an annualized basis. Now this was the third straight month of declines in new home sales. However, new home sales are still up 0.5% from last year. So new construction still doing very well. The median sales price of a new home was $326,800 for February 2018. So there's still a very strong housing market. We're looking for price appreciation to continue throughout the year into next year. So it's still a great time to get out there and purchase a home. Now on the local news, we've got a first time home buyer seminar this Wednesday, March 28th from 6 to 8 p.m. in Wilmington, Delaware at Independence Mall at the EXP Realty Office. Then we've got, we're in Dover on Saturday, April 7th from 10 a.m. to noon at, um, at the Garden Holiday Inn. And then we're back in Newark at the Christiana Hilton Hotel on Saturday, um, April 21st. That's from 10 a.m. to noon in Newark, Delaware. Now you can register for either one of those events by giving us a call in the office at 302-703-0727 or register online www.delawarehomebuyerseminar.com. Look forward to seeing you guys next week.